What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. I hope you guys have all had an awesome week and are ready for another educational episode. For those of you who this is the first time here, welcome to the channel and make sure to hit the subscribe button on this corner so that you can stay up to date with all things braces. For those of you that have noticed, right here is a shirt that is one of the merchandise that I sell on my store on Teespring. So if you're interested in checking some of those out, make sure to look in the description of this video for a link out to that. So a lot of you have been asking me recently about quad helixes and you guessed it, that's the topic of today's video. So without further ado, let's get started. So today's video, like I said earlier, is going to be about the quad helix expander. And the quad helix expander is an expander that's used to expand your upper arch dentally, but not skeletally. Now, let's take a little bit closer look so you can see what this expander is before we dive into the mechanics of it. So this is what a quad helix expander looks like when it's actually cemented in the mouth. And again, thank you to Acutech Laboratories for letting me borrow this appliance. So looking at it closely, what we can see is that there are these four circles, which are called the helixes, and they're attached to these bands either by a solder or these little slits that it can attach into. And we'll look at that a little bit closer. Here you can see that there's these extension arms that go all the way up to the front teeth, which can be used to make the expansion a little more broad or for different uses that I'll touch on in a second. When you look at it from the front though, you really can appreciate that you really can't see these. It's only that you can see bands on your back teeth if the quad helix is the only appliance that's in your mouth. So this is what it looks like when it's not cemented into your teeth. What you can appreciate is that it's pretty much simply made of wire. And the way we activate it is either by using our fingers or pliers to expand it so that it's larger than the teeth are currently. Then, as we cement them or insert them into the slits on the bands, we'll allow for it to be attached and over time it's going to want to return to its original shape which is broader than the teeth and in doing so it will be pushing your teeth outward and expanding your dental arch. Like I said previously, these can be attached by either a solder to the bands or they can be attached to the bands via these little prongs which you can see here. Also the wires of the quad helix rest pretty close to the palate so this shouldn't bother your tongue too much. At first it might be a little bit different and take some time to get used to, but once it's there for a couple of days you should be doing just fine with them in. I usually ask this towards the end of the video, but I'll ask you right now. Do any of you guys have a quad helix expander? Let me know in the comments below. The way this expander works is that your orthodontist activates it using their hands or their pliers. And once you have this expander activated, we can go ahead and cement it in your mouth and the force lasts for a longer period of time, but it's a lot lower force than we have with the expander that I showed in the previous video, which is called a Hyrax expander. So the Hyrax expander can actually expand your whole upper bone, the, the maxilla, your upper jaw, can actually be expanded using a Hyrax, but the quad helix actually just causes the teeth to move within the bone. So it's a much more gentle appliance, but at the same time, it doesn't cause a skeletal change. So as you saw earlier, these expanders have these arms that extend forward and these arms can be used for different purposes based off your orthodontist. They can be used to preserve space like what we talked about in our video about the Nance, which I'll also link out to over here. And they can also be used to bring in teeth that are let's say impacted. So there's a bunch of different uses for these different arms, but those are all up to the discretion of your orthodontist if they even need them. So the way these quad helixes obtain their name is that they are quad four and helixes. There's four helixes that are part of this expander and you can activate them in different parts to achieve a different result. Like we talked in our video about closing loops, when you load these helixes, they are able to give off a force over a long period of time and it's a very gentle force. So that's why we can make these expanders really, really broad and when we cement them in, it slowly works to achieve that result. And that's pretty much what a quad helix is. There isn't much to learn about it, but they're actually very technique sensitive by the orthodontist. So the orthodontist will make the adjustments and can do a lot of stuff with them that you guys don't notice. You'll just notice that they're cemented into your back teeth. Let me know what you thought about today's video and if you have any other questions about quad helixes in the comments of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all this content. 
Also, be sure to check me out on Instagram at Dr. Greg Ortho so you guys can see a little bit more about my cases and a little bit of my personal life. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. For now, Dr. Greg, 